Hi guys, it's Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise with another video and I am excited and somewhat a little bit apprehensive about this plan with me. So since I discovered the Happy Planner, I have been working in their Happy Planner Classic for I guess four or five years and I have become so accustomed to this planner and I have to be honest, I really do love this system. Aside from, you know, the customization that it affords, it really is just the size and everything just works for me. I'm able to get all the writing done that I need in this planner. And yeah, it just has everything that I need. However, just recently I was doing some planner shopping and I came across the Happy Planner Big. Guys, to me, it looks enormous uh, but really it's just your typical eight and a half by 11 sheets you know the size of the printer sheets it's really just that size but it just looks a little bit overwhelming uh, to me so I'm willing to give it a shot for the next three months which is October November and December for the last quarter I am transitioning my personal planner into this one and yeah, like I said, it appears to be a little bit more than I can handle, but I am up for the challenge. So if you want to see how I plan my month at a glance for October, stick around. So I went ahead and took the pages out of the planner just because that planner is so big and even right now I feel like it's bulky so I took the pages out of the planner to make it just a little bit easier for me and the truth is I often take the pages out of the planner when I am planning I also want to say thank you so much to those of you who are tuning into my channel for the first time and also to the viewers who have been here before thank you so much for choosing to come again if you haven't already subscribed i ask that you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it does help out my channel additionally please go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads i do have a lot of things planned for my channel one of the main things that i'm excited about is i have some hauls from joann's hobby lobby and michael's and i think that if you are a paper crafter of any kind you are going to enjoy these upcoming hauls so don't miss out don't rob yourself hit the notification bell make sure you subscribe subscribing to youtube you know already is free and you're really helping out your content creator especially for this one here who is trying to reach the 500 subscriber mark by the end of the year. So having said that, allow me to show you the stickers that I'll be using in this spread. And I'm also going to be using some washi tape. So for this plan with me, I'll be using the monthly stickers from the Capital Chic Designs collection sold at Michael. Here is the washi tape that I pulled out. Right here, this one says, let it shine be kind always it has a cross so it's a faith-based washi tape that i got from i think i got this from michael's as well and i have these three washi tapes as well this one says hello sunshine and lastly i will be using the watercolor sticker book from the happy planner line so to begin I want to start by pulling from this sticker book right here. Now, because this is my monthly spread, I don't use a lot of stickers. And that's why I am using this sticker book because it's going to bring out some color on these pages without me having to overwhelm the pages with a lot of stickers. This is the month at a glance and I do more writing in here than I do anything else. So I really do need the space to write. 
So to begin, here is the October header. And I'd like to put it right here, but if I can't, I'm going to put it here on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So let me just see if this sticker will fit in this spot. And it's a tight fit, but it will fit. So we're gonna start right there. Okay. So as you can see, it did cover up my Friday and Saturday, but I'm okay with that because I will be using some weekday headers and I'll just be able to use the weekday headers in that spot where this sticker covered up those days. So here is the weekday covers and it's the same color as the October sticker. And I hope they're long enough to cover up the weekdays. If not, we'll just pull out the handy dandy whiteout. Perfect, all right. So I have my headers on. I like them and I have to tell you, I don't think I've ever used weekday headers, but I'm liking it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to have to use it more often. Next up, I'm going to cover the dates with the day covers. I like these day covers. I will tell you that putting these small stickers on is a monotonous job. Just a little FYI if you plan on ever doing this. done with the date covers that was a lot <laughs> it was a lot i like that i am able to bring in that orange fall uh, color into this spread so um and like i said because i'm not doing a lot of decorating on this spread this color from the date covers is very helpful let me see what else i could pull from this sticker book Okay, I see a couple of icons here that I could use. And what else? Here are some colorful boxes here at the bottom. Okay, I see something here. Actually, no, I have a wedding on the 30th. So I'm going to pull this out and use it right now. Okay. So I got that out of the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, so at least I know what's in here if I need to go back to it. The next thing I want to do is I want to add something to the top here where these three boxes are blank and I'm going to pull in this washi tape right here and the little quotes say give thanks let it shine and be kind always so those are the three quotes that are on here and let's see I think I want to put it down here All right, this spread is coming along already and is not even much on the pages. 
that's a good thing. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and begin to use my washi tape. Now how I plan on my month at a glance pages is I use it in a way where I document all the routines in my life, things that happened from one month to the next. And then when I'm planning my weeks, I use this as a format as to what days I'm available going when I'm planning week to week. So that's why I have these washi tapes out and I use washi tape pretty much on all of my month at a glance spreads. So I am going to use this one first and what I'll be doing is just putting down the washi tapes on days that I have something scheduled and once I'm done I'll explain what those days mean. there I think I have just maybe three more days maybe a little bit more than that to uh, to set up with the washi tape and then we'll move on to something else I apologize if you hear that noise in the background I just heard the train and I don't know if you heard it, but it was pretty loud, so sorry about that. I'm switching washi tape just for the last 26, 27, and 28, just because those days are all in one line, and I wanted to use this Hello Sunshine washi tape. Just thought it was really cute. trying to just look and see if I'm missing anything. I have some notes here on my left hand side and it's looking good. I don't think I missed anything. Well, actually I did. I take that back. I wanted to layer this right here with this washi tape as well. And I'll tell you why once I explain what I did here. Okay, now I think I could go ahead and explain what's going on. As you can tell, this is a month at a glance. It is the Big Happy Planner. It's new to me. This is things that I shared with you already. Um, I want to just focus on the washi tape and why it's placed the way it is placed. I use the washi tape so often on my month at a glance because it is used as like a master plan for me. Okay, so the washi tape either represents a day that I have to work or a, a day that something happens in my life routinely. So once the washi tape is down, I'll take the time to write what this means, what this means, what this means, and so on and so forth. The reason why the washi tape works for me is because say for example i'm in a new week and i need to make a doctor's appointment or a car repair appointment i can look at my month at a glance and just by these orange indicators whether i decide to write anything or not i know that i'm not available on these days i could look and i could take a quick look and say nope the 12th is not good for me i don't have to take time to read and figure out what's going on that day it's not even important. This tells me, Sherelle, you're not available. The reason why I added two strips of washi tape in this area 
is really simple. I wanted to use this Hello Sunshine washi tape because I think it's cute. Let me just bring it in a little bit better. I wanted to use this washi tape just because I thought it was really cute and a nice compliment to the washi tape on top. I use this washi tape because this is the true indicator of my work days. And that was the only reason why I doubled this up for decorative purposes, okay? But like I said, the real deal and the washi tape of importance is the washi tape that looks like this. It lets me know, you know what? You're not available, find another day. So I also have this watercolor sticker book and I just wanna see if there's anything that I could use from this sticker book to put in the sidebar because that sidebar is looking rather lonely. Oh, here's some reminder stickers. Mm -hmm. Here's a today sticker. Oh, I found something. I like this sticker right here to go in the sidebar. The reason why I like it, for one, it's a nice uh, functional box, but I also like it because it complements the colors that are in this spread. See this pink here? There's some pink here, some pink down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in the sidebar. I like that. Oh, I see a quote. Oh, I see a few quotes. All right. Don't stress, do your best, forget the rest. She loved life and it loved her back. That's cute. Maybe I'll use that one. That's really cute. Happy mind, happy life. I'm not feeling that color though. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let's see. Wild and free. There's some nice quotes here and I'm definitely going to use one. I just don't know which one to use. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Life is better with friends. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to use this one right here. That says she loved life and it loved her right back. Use that one. And then I'm going to put some flags down here. Normally I like putting the quotes down here, but I think I'm going to put my quote up more because I don't know, I just want to today. I didn't mean for it to go right there, but you know what, it stuck. So that's where it will have to stay. But it's pretty straight, so I'm not mad, I'm, it's okay. Now I'll just find that page that had the flags and, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna do flags. I think I want to do, nah, I'll do flags. Where are they? I'm looking for the flags. I know I saw some. Here they are. So I'm gonna just place maybe three flags and I think I will be done with this spread once they are down. So I'm gonna start with this orange one. Okay, let me see. All right, so I like this spread. I'm kind of thinking I should put something here, but I'm not. I'm gonna just kind of leave it as is. I am noticing, I don't know why I'm just now noticing this, Wednesday and Thursday are also blank. So I wanna find something to put here, and I think I have the thing. I'm just gonna take this washi tape and carry it over onto this side. And I think I'm gonna take what's left of this washi tape right here, this little let it shine part, and I'm just gonna put it here on the bottom. So I'm just bring in my little teeny tiny precision stickers because 
I don't know why, but this didn't lay properly. I guess I just put it on wrong. I know what happened. <laughs> Trying to be funny. All right, so. Ooh, that is crooked. I'm taking that off. Nope, I don't even want it. Forget it. Lastly, I'm going to bring in those two little fall icons that I had pointed out earlier. And I'm just going to put them right here. Okay, guys, so here is my spread. And even though I was very intimidated by the size of this planner, you know what? It came out fine and it actually worked the same way as the small one. I, but I was able to do the exact same thing that I do in my classic planner. And so I'm looking forward to working in this planner for the last quarter of 2021. If you have a big planner in your planner stash and you find it intimidating, I hope that this plan with me helped you out a lot. I am not a master at planning at all, but I really do feel good about this spread. So ask that you please hit the subscribe button. It is free to do that and you'd really be helping me reach my 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm gonna put this back in the planner and we are going to say peace and blessings. Hold on. Guys, this is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.